Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-June 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Welcome to mid-June. Depending on what day you're watching this, you may even be watching on my birthday. Um, as always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and get into it. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming um, for the remainder of June. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column. We're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you, Scorpio. But again, starting in column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have the summary card of I am worthy. Definitely one of the best cards in this deck. Such a good affirmation and such a good reminder. You are worthy of happiness, health, all of your heart's desires, respect, all of those things. So never forget your worthiness there, Scorpio. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what cards we have coming through here. So first up, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawing, retreating, and moving on. I always tell people with this card, it's like the grass is greener on the other side. So there's something we're advancing forward from, something we're taking a step back from and moving on from. If you look, the Eight of Cups here stacked. They're stacked pretty nicely. They look pretty good. But yet this person is still walking away. So um, again, moving on to something bigger and better there. The next card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gains. Um, so this is a good card. Whatever this advancement, this withdrawal and moving on, if it hasn't already been, it's going to be really promising. Again, it's leading more to that life of luxury, that financial gain, those gains that we want, enjoyment and pleasure. So love to see that. And then at the bottom here, we have the Empress. The Empress we love no matter where this card comes up in the readings. This is creation, abundance. Um, again, a lot of abundance in this new beginning here for you. Um, and also the ability to, again, create that luxury, create those enjoyments that you were hoping to have. So this can also be a card of pregnancy and fertility for some of you as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at our clarifiers now. First up, we have the Justice card. The Justice card is a card that's always favorable for you, Scorpio. This is a win-win type card as well. Um, so love to see that for you. This is going to be win-win solutions. <clears throat> Again, this moving forward is really a good to better type move. This could also be finding out truth, finding out information as well. The next card that we have is the Star card. It makes total sense. The star card's a card of renewal. It's a card of hope. Um, it's like raising your energies again, which makes total sense just given this transition and given how luxurious and positive it's looking for you. So that's wonderful as well. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. It's very long-term, very strategic. So all of this is really setting you up well for the future. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can also be a retirement or inheritance card. Definitely congratulations to those of you retiring. So exciting. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is just general what's coming for the remainder of June. We have a summary affirmation card of I am gifted. This is always a unique card as well. Um, it's such a good reminder of your skills, your expertise, the gifts you have, the potential you have. Um, so this is really about being able to leverage and share those gifts. So keep that in mind as you move into the remainder of June. But let's take a look and see what other messages we have here for you. So first up we have the World card. The World card is the last card of the Major Arcana. This is completing a goal, completing a lesson. It's a card of completion. 
Again, if something's wrapping up and coming to a close for you, if that makes total sense based on what you're just talking about, it seems like we were moving on from something there. Um, so the world card kind of reiterating that. This can also be a travel card too, so potentially some of you have some travel going into the end of this month. The next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a card of being very patient, so kind of letting things come to fruition. This perhaps could have taken a little bit longer than you would have liked it to for everything we talked about so far. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles, this is also um, about being really reliable and putting in the hard work and you've done a great job with that. I love the Knight of Pentacles because when I see this card, it's like, I know you've put in the hard work and you're going to reap the benefits of that hard work. So that's always great to see. Um, so continuing to reap the benefits there. And at the bottom here, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a desire. It's something that we want that we don't have currently. So it's like we took a step forward. We're moving forward. We need to keep working hard here. And we're moving towards this desire that we have, this desire that we want. So now let's take a look at our clarifiers for this column. Of course, the cat is going to come stand right in the way for us because that's what he's good at. So first up, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card um, of trusting your intuition, trusting your gut. So as you go into this new chapter, as you take on this next step, that's one of the best things you can do for yourself is trust your intuition, trust your gut to navigate you through. I'm also hearing this is about like what feels good for you. We're entering to this new chapter. It was kind of like you had to do what you had to do before, but now you're able to do something that you enjoy, something that feels good. So trust that intuition and be uh, keeping that feel good energy top of mind. Okay, buddy, you're making a mess. Sorry about the cat. Um, the next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is... Again, the card we talked about. If you've watched my readings before, I always love when this happens. Knight of Pentacles on top of Knight of Pentacles. It's a really clear message from the universe. So again, this could have taken a little bit longer than we wanted, but the intent here is to keep working hard, keep moving towards this desire, and we're going to continue to keep reaping the benefits. So um, I feel like a good way to sum this up is progress. We're making very good progress here. The next card that we have is the Moon card. The Moon card is a card of, um, again, trusting your intuition. Anytime we have a face in the sun or the moon, it's all about intuition. So really letting your gut and heart guide you forward here. Again, remember what feels good at the core, what's bringing us happiness. So let that guide you towards. Um, one thing I'm going to say is like the path that you're expecting to take to get to this desire may not be the path you end up on. So there could be some curves in the road, some stuff you don't see coming, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, it's just a different road than perhaps you think you may be planned on traveling. Okay, so for our next column now, let's take a look at anything related to money. We have a quick money message here. The spirit of money is within you. You are money and you are never without. So in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses we run, investments we have. Again, anything associated with money. The first card we have is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of commerce. So we love to start off with a strong money card like that in our money column. Um, the Three of Wands can also be a card of expansion. So, especially for you, those of you that own your own business, I think there's going to be a lot of growth of business going into the remainder of this month. Um, for some of you that have a more standard job, I feel like you're taking on additional roles and responsibilities. But again, that's leading to that growth and expansion, which is good to see as well. Um, this is another travel card too, so potentially some work travel. I know we mentioned travel earlier, but love that commerce card in the commerce section there. The next card we have is the temperance card. Temperance is a card of balance and harmony. So I love to see this because it's like we can have more money, we can have more responsibility, we can grow, but it doesn't necessarily need to come with a burden. So this will continue to be very even, very balanced, very harmonious, which I love for you. Love the Temperance card anywhere it comes up. At the bottom here, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. Um, you see this person's blindfolded, their arms are bound down. 
Uh, but there's all these swords stuck into the ground behind them, so they can very easily wiggle back and cut themselves free. So don't lose sight of that, don't lose track of that. Uh, make sure you aren't limiting yourself, doubting yourself, questioning yourself. The nice thing about the Eight of Swords is it can be like a warning card. So again, you can kind of combat anywhere that you would maybe be holding yourself back, which is good. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of skill, quality, craftsmanship. Um, when I see this card, it's always about putting your best foot forward, making sure you're giving it your best effort. Um, again, there's a lot of potential for growth and expansion here. This is also a card of teamwork too. So you could be getting a new coworker, you could be hiring somebody, again, if you own your own business. But I think there's growth in terms of the number of employees as well. The next card we have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of needing to rest, retreat, renew, recover. Um, make sure you have that top of mind. Again, we're in a very calm time. This is a time of balance and harmony. I don't think this is a time where you will get burnt out, Scorpio, but this is a time where if you are feeling burnt out, you should focus on, again, that rest and recovery, that getting to feeling better. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a really nice recap card here, some validation. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Again, you're really coming out on top here, Scorpio, which I love to see. So this transition all around is paying off. Again, it's gonna be very happy, it's gonna be very successful. There's some growth and expansion here too, which is great to see. Now, moving on to our next column, we're going to do anything related to love. Similar to the money column, though, we're going to start out with a quick love message. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, Whatever you associate with love here. First up we have the moon card. The moon card we talked about a little bit earlier. So we have the face and the sun there again. So this is about trusting your intuition. With the moon card though, this is also like things may pop up that are not expected. So just be aware of that. I think something unexpected is going to come up. And I think it's going to make you have to make a decision too. So that's what our two of swords is. Anytime we have two of something on a card, it's a decision card here, Scorpio. So something unexpected is going to pop up, and it is going to have to prompt you to make a decision. At the bottom here, we have the three of, uh, three of Cups. So this is a great card of support. This is like a circle of support card. It's a friendship card. So I think you have a really good circle of support willing to meet with you, talk with you, understand, and potentially guide you through that decision. So don't be hesitant to reach out to people and kind of bounce ideas off of them as you have to make that decision. Um, this is also a celebration card though, so I think we're going to be really happy with the outcome of whatever this decision is. And of course this is going to be family, friend, love related somehow, just given the placement, what column it's in. Taking a look at our clarifiers here, first up we have the Chariot. The Chariot is a card of action and change. Again, something is changing, something unexpected is coming up, um, and it's leading us to have to make a decision here. Uh, this could be a new vehicle too, which is weird. Maybe the decision is like, do you co-sign or do you help somebody get a car? Um, lots of new vehicle energy associated with the Chariot. But again, I think there's just change coming. It's something unexpected and it leads to a decision. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords. We talked about the Eight of Swords a little bit earlier. This again can be that card of self-imposed restrictions. I think that you may not like see the full bigger picture and that could be why it could be valuable to have those conversations with friends or that circle of support. Again, kind of bouncing ideas, looking at all the different options. Um, I think there's something you're not seeing that somebody can bring to light here for you, Scorpio. And at the bottom here, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, this is like something new, taking on something new, taking action. I do feel like you, well, you for sure have to make the decision here, but I feel like you're going to take action. So whatever that means and whatever this context is for you specifically, Scorpio, I do, use, do see you taking action. 
Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I feel loved. What a wonderful way to end here. So the I feel loved card, this is about self-love. This is love from family and friends. This could be love from a lover, but just a good, good affirmation for you. So you'll be feeling the love the next few weeks, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and take a look at our clarifiers though and see what other messages I can provide you here. First up, we have the Chariot. The Chariot was once described to me as the Vroom Vroom card. It means there's action, there's change, things are happening. Um, new vehicle is coming up again, so again, there could be some new vehicle energy happening here for you. Um, but we're making good strides forward. We're making progress. Again, I keep coming back to the word progress here. And it's not like you're having to do this alone. I feel like you're well supported here. The next card that we have is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords has a lot of meanings, but if you take a look, this person's like gathering up their swords and moving forward. And again, this is the forward action. This is the progress you're making here. And at the bottom here, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is again that card of needing to rest, retreat, renew, recover. So make sure you're not getting burnt out on this journey. Now you guys get to see the other cat. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but make sure you're not getting burnt out on this journey. Think about this as like a marathon, not uh, a short race. So constantly keep resting. Um, you've made a lot of progress so far, but I feel like that's going to continue. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is a marathon, not just a race. So keeping that energy high as you continue to progress forward on this journey. Um, first clarifier we have here is the hangman. The hangman is a card of wisdom. So, so much knowledge and wisdom being gained as we keep moving forward. The other thing I'm hearing is like you're getting the information as you need it, Scorpio, which is nice. So, I don't know that you're having to really blindly proceed forward on this. You get information and then you move forward. You get information and then move forward. So, nice steps there. The next card we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional, very strategic. I love to see this because it's like confirmation that you're making the right steps. So this is good future planning. You're setting your future self up for success as we keep moving forward. And then at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Wands. Anytime we have an Ace card, this is um, new project, inspiration, urge to create. Again, things are going to keep coming up, you're going to keep taking steps forward. So right when you think you're done progressing, there's another step for you, Scorpio. But all in all, nice reading. Now at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the Jack of Clubs. This is number 45 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Ace of Hearts. This is number 11 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three is the Ten of Hearts. That's number seven card. That's going to be a yes. So yes, no, yes, therefore you Scorpio. If you watched your video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our Healing Stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of June. So you have Garnet, which is good for crisis management helps solve chaos, um, really gives you confidence and power. Last time, or lastly, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Scorpio, your healing note says, when you can't remember why you were hurt, that is when you were healed. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, so you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Scorpio, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your June.